Greetings. I'm Bob Thurman, and I'm talking to you from a mythic place, the place of the Kala Chakra Tantra, how it originated amongst human beings on this planet, according to the Tibetan legend. I'm here with His Holiness the Dalai Lama in South India at Amaravati, uh, near the Great Stupa, where he is giving his 30th great consecration or great anointment in the Kala Chakra Tantra. This is considered by him and everyone present here, the 150,000 approximately people, to be a greatly auspicious event. Not only because it's the 30th time His Holiness has given the Kala Chakra for world peace, but also because this is the location where, maybe 3,000 years ago, from 2,500 to 3,000 years ago, Shakyamuni Buddha gave the first great Kala Chakra initiation and the full Kala Chakra teaching to the citizens of the kingdom of Shambhala, the mythical Shambhala somewhere in the North Pole region, who came here by sci-fi methods to witness this teaching and receive it from Shakyamuni Buddha. Shakyamuni himself manifested in a special form of the male, female in union Kala Chakra Buddha with four faces and 24 arms, in which he reveals the deepest possible vision of wisdom and compassion indivisible as guiding all forms of life and guiding uh, all existence toward freedom and happiness, away from suffering and misery and uh, ignorance. And uh, so this is doing this, therefore, in the 21st century. His Holiness is in his mind and in the minds of the people here, harking back to a sunnier time on the planet when Shakyamuni Buddha was here personally when the beings were first introduced to this marvelous teaching. Kala Chakra, uh, in order to know Kala Chakra, uh, we need study, lots, lot of study. But the uh, Kala Chakra is one of the uh, important Buddhist tantric teaching. So all uh, Buddhism based on warm-heartedness, and concept of interdependency. What does it mean? It means the wheel of time, literally. And here, it's a very unique vision. It's an esoteric vision, kept secret in the past, because it is a vision of the total positivity of time, of history. Often in religion, even in Buddhism, in religions, time is presented as impermanence, and therefore something dire and destructive. Everything that is born must die. You know, everything that comes together must fall apart. And so that is in time. And so time is considered as time the devourer. There are visions, many religious visions of that, including in ordinary Buddhism. But in the Kala Chakra, time is presented as pure compassion. Because when, when any Buddha becomes a Buddha, in a way they exist in all of time. They transcend being caught in a particular place in the flow of time. And therefore they become present through the time lines of other beings totally present with those beings a force of compassion that seeks to help those beings escape from the force of ignorance from the force of hatred from the force of greed and liberate them into their own highest bliss which is their own deepest reality according to the buddhist vision kala chakra means something like a time machine where or a history machine where all of history becomes a machine for the ripening of living beings the Buddha, of course, did not create the suffering of beings, but he created a machine through which they could be liberated. And the sort of elaborated vision, elucidated vision of that liberating movement in history is the Kala Chakra Tantra, according to the belief of Indian and Tibetan Buddhists and Mongolian Buddhists. And when you are at the Kala Chakra and present, in people are having a feeling for a brief time as the mandala, that is the sacred environment of the Kala Chakra, is open that indeed all of history is positive and all of the tragedies that we know about in history can work out to a positive ending as beings who lose their life in an untimely manner in wars and in violence and in holocausts and tragedies take new life and new form and the compassionate beings are there with them to help them find a better life and find enlightenment in that life and not succumb to tragic suffering and so forth and so there's a temporary moment where hope is kindled and optimism is kindled and a feeling of connection to the deepest layer of reality 
beneath the atoms, actually, where there are even no atoms, even in the Kalachakra vision, where the world is pure mind. And in that mind, the minds of compassion of all enlightened beings become, show that they have a greater power than the minds of hatred and ignorance of the unenlightened beings. And that is sort of what we enjoy here at this great anointment. That is the real energy by which people are initiated or anointed in this, in this setting. And so I take great pleasure and I feel very honored to introduce you to that, the Kala Chakra, Maha Abhisheka, the great anointment of the Kala Chakra. But every occasion I stress the importance of warm heartedness. That is Maha Karuna, Karuna, compassion, great, great compassion. And with help of holistic view, everything, uh, interdependent. My future depends on other. Therefore, I have to look after their interest because if the, if the society, if the humanity, if the world become peaceful, uh, compassionate, I will get a benefit. So that I usually describe the, the wiser, well, wiser way of look after himself or herself. Uh, sometimes we narrow-mindedly think oneself and forget about other. This is foolish way. Good. That's all. <laughs> no. Come on. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.